Hey guys, this is uh, Phyllis from Hassline Software, and I'm going to show you how to set up a order bot. Um, basically, an order bot is a special type of bot where you kind of pre-program uh, where to buy and where to sell, and you can actually string these. Um, the thing, the, when you tell it to buy, that's called a, a pre-order, um, and you can string these pre-orders together. So let's uh, go ahead and create an order bot. We'll want to click on the uh, new order bot button at the top. And uh, we'll need to choose the exchange. I'll go ahead and use Coinbase. Uh, we'll do Bitcoin to US dollar. And let's give it a name. We'll call it order bot. And click save. So um, basically what you need to do is set it up. Um, so we would need to click on the little eye um, icon. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And here is our... Um, Here's the interface for setting up a uh, order bot. So basically, the first thing we need to do is um, not general settings is to create a new order. So let's. Uh, so now um, we are given options on uh, whether to create a buy order or a sell order, whether it's higher than or lower than, and then the value. Uh, the value is expressed in terms of the price and the amount you want to trade. So say for this, we'll set it at to trade 0 0.2 Bitcoin. Um, let's say we'll, we'll make the first one a buy order. Um, we want lower than for a buy order. And uh, because we don't have any other um, uh, pre-orders uh, set, we don't have anything to set, set it to be dependent on. So let's figure out a price. And a really nice thing is that um, this line up here was generated for this. So instead of actually, um, we can zoom out a little bit. Um, so instead of um, you know manually typing the price, we can actually just you know bring this down. Um, let me go ahead and change the uh, chart. One minute. Let's do something a little longer, like 15 minutes. And yeah. So um, we'll set this at like let's say we want to buy at like um, 2:30. Like we can do 2:33. Um, let's go ahead and update that. And so here, here is our line for this. Um, if you want to adjust it, you can click on that and you know, move it up and down. It'll change the value, um, which is great. So you can actually visualize it and actually you know, set exactly what you want. Um, we could do it like here, I suppose. Um, and yeah, so say I'm happy with this. Um, I'll go ahead and um, just update it. And now that we have the buy order, let's set a sell order. So we change buy order to sell order, sell it higher than, and um, let's say like 235 or so, and updates. And whoops, I forgot to change the amount. So yeah, you can actually set different uh, price amounts, but for this I'll keep the buy order and sell order price the same. We'll just update it. And you can do the same thing as the other one. You can move it up and down if we want. You can do it like this. Um, so yeah, and that's that's quite basic. So now uh, the way we set it, it's going to buy anything lower than that green line, and it will sell uh, the same amount um, above the red line. And so we can actually string. We can make these dependent now. So we'll create a new one. This is the third one. We'll keep it a. Let's say it's a buy order. And say if we're going to buy here, um, say we want to buy more if the price drops even more. So we can um, go ahead and just move this down. We'll say we'll put it at the very tip of this. Um, say we want to buy more, so we'll keep it at 0 0.1. And so we'll, we'll have it uh, dependent on um, either, you know, we can have it dependent on either the sell order or the buy order. We'll keep it dependent on the buy order. Um, and then you can set it to be dependent on an open order um, to see whether or not, if, it, if the order still is open and hasn't been completed, you can set it that way as well. But we'll just keep it at this. And then we can even create a fourth one where we want to sell. Um, say we want to sell even higher. Um, we'll do like 240 or so. Uh, we can just update that. And we can go back. Um, so yeah, you can't see it, it's actually out of view. Um, so we can, I will change to like 239, just so we can see it. 
And yeah, so you can change the amount as well. So if you really wanted to you know, set it up this way, you could. We can set it, it's uh, dependent on only buying um, the um, this one. So yeah, I mean, it's um, you know, quite easy to set up. Um, and you know you can uh, I mean it'll it'll sell this if this one is executed I mean you can make this as complicated um, or as simple as you want um, generally it's recommended to keep things as simple as possible in the beginning um, but yeah, that's up to you so yeah so now that we set this up um, you can decide uh, what else you want to run um, so if if you want to you know you can set this to I mean I mean, there's so many options for your setting the dependencies, um, but it's not necessary. It's not always necessary. So, I mean, once you're happy with it, you just go ahead and click on the little play button, and you activate it and say yes. And you can go back to the dashboard, and this is what it looks like when it is live. So that's it. Um, order bots are incredibly easy to set up, and yeah, that's all you have to do. So yeah, uh, be sure to check out the other videos about setting up the other different types of bots, and best of luck with your trades.